Josh, I want you to text. Especially this year, I don't want you to so drop. Not one drop. Hey there, everyone. So we have made it to Jim Beam. As you can tell, it has really clouded over. It has rained on the drive here. Actually, it, it absolutely downpoured, like to the point where I almost thought that I was going to pull over. It was raining so hard. Um, but it has stopped long enough for us to at least get in and begin the tour. Uh, so we have about 20, 30 minutes before the tour begins. We're doing it at 2 o'clock today. Um, we're not sure exactly what to expect out of this one. This facility looks fairly big. Um, Jim Beam, I believe, is pretty well known. Um, so they may have a bigger facility here. I'm not sure yet. Anyway, I uh, hope you guys are looking forward to watching this video. We are looking forward to going on the tour. speaking with the guy at the front desk and if that's you thanks for watching you said you would so thank you um, yeah so I was just speaking with him and he says that this particular tour at Jim Beam is going to be a lot more interactive than some of the other ones that we experienced at Woodford Reserve and Wild Turkey so if you haven't checked out those videos yet uh, make sure you check up the link and I'll put that up there for you guys to check those out and you too can see the difference so I'm looking forward to seeing what exactly is going to make this one more interactive um, but I'm hoping that's true because it would be a lot more uh, enjoyable to kind of become part of the process a little bit more than just standing and listening to it. He bought this property two years into Prohibition because he thought it was not going to be a big deal. All right, he was like, eh, five years tops. Anybody know how long Prohibition actually lasted? Yeah, 13 years. So Jim was a little off. All right, that's okay. So he takes this property, he turns it into a rock quarry. He starts digging into that limestone underneath this, which ends up being really important to our bourbon. I'll tell you why in just a second. The whole theme of our tour today will be the five rules of bourbon. I'm going to teach you to you, and then I'm going to quiz you over. And however you do on your quiz, will determine how much bourbon you get. Oh, no. <laughs> so pull the cameras out, pull out your notebooks, right? Whatever you need. Okay? I'm going to help you succeed. Rule number one of bourbon. Where do we have to make it to legally call it bourbon? Kentucky. Oh, interesting. Uh, there's a legal side to this and then there's a moral side to it. <laughs> All right, legally, we can make bourbon anywhere in the United States. However, 95% of the world's bourbon is made right here in Kentucky. There are a couple reasons for that. One of those reasons is the limestone that I mentioned. We sit on a limestone shelf to get to use naturally limestone filtered water. That's going to give you a sweeter bourbon rather than a bitter bourbon that you might get from another one of All right, so where do we have to make it? Okay, 
the angels get a big share. <laughs> it's a bummer. Hold this barrel toward him. And I mean, really roll it down to the bottom. Josh, I want you to catch as much as you can. I don't want you to spill a drop. Not one drop. just based off the Kentucky climate. So after a year, down to 90% of what we originally put in. After four years, down to 78%. Nine years, so we're thinking like a Knob Creek single barrel, mm -hmm. right? We're down to just 61%. If you look at this wall up close, all you're going to see are individual decanters, right? We've got pictures of every one of them that we've made. But if you step back and pull your camera up on your phone or whatever you've got, and point it at this wall, you're going to see something else in there. Uh -huh. Yeah. Check it out. Yeah. <laughs> that oh, face. is T. Jeremiah. <laughs> so you can see his face right through your camera, and folks, if you, if you drink enough, he'll talk to you too. <laughs> <laughs> Not that I know, I've just heard that. All right, so we just finished the Jim Beam tour, and what do you think? I thought it was the best one yet. I think so too. Yeah. And we got souvenirs. Yes, so at the end of the tour you get the, so you get your tasting at the end and you get these little, oh, they're bigger than a shot glass, but they're mm -hmm. little cups. Uh, anyway, you get to keep them at the end. And as you saw, this one was a lot more interactive, which was really good. It was fun being able to be part of it. So hats off to the, the guy that works at the front. He was so right when he said this was interactive and this one is much better. Mm -hmm. Also, uh, the thing that is awesome too, if you've noticed, no rain. Yay. So that's nice and it's actually really hot right now. Really sunny. 
So that's really good. So today's turned out to be a much better day than I had thought. Mm -hmm. Me too. So that's really good. All right. So if you guys like the video, just let me know. Hit the thumbs up. And as always, please subscribe to the channel if you want to see more stuff like this, more travel videos, more hiking. We do pretty much anything under the sun that's related to travel. So hopefully see you guys next time. Bye.